Hi Panthers! This lesson is called Henna Hand Art. This lesson is appropriate for 4th, 5th, and 6th graders. So first a little history about henna. What is henna? Henna is a plant that is used as a dye for skin um, in parts of Africa, Italy, Spain, and the Middle East. It's very very popular in uh, India and it is a form of temporary body art. It is not permanent. Indian henna designs are called mendi. The henna plant is grounded into a paste with a few other ingredients and then applied to the body. The henna must stay undisturbed on the skin for several hours to properly stain it. It's washed off and the, the design remains on the skin. Henna designs can last for days or even months. In many cultures, women have henna de decorations applied to their hands and feet for festivals and celebrations. Before a wedding, a bride will have elaborate henna designs drawn onto her hands, arms, and sometimes feet. And in some regions, even the groom will be decorated as well. Now you can find henna art booths here in the United States at some large events. You can pay to have henna designs painted onto your body. Okay, so today's art project is, is inspired by henna. For this project, you will only need a plain piece of paper and a Sharpie or a different fine tip marker. To look more authentic like henna, you can use brown, but since it's an art project, any color will do for this. So often when you see henna art, in the middle of the hand is a mandala shaped. Uh, if you're in the sixth grade, we designed mandalas earlier in the year. Remember to start in the middle and design your mandala outward. You can use any symbols or patterns you like, something that means a lot to you. For me, I would maybe do a sea turtle or I really like the yin yang symbol as well. Um, you can do uh, repeating patterns on all the fingers, the same patterns on all fingers, or you can do different, up to you. It looks good when your designs are symmetrical, but they do not have to be. I'll show you some examples of some basic patterns, or you can Google them to find some inspiration on the internet. This art project is similar to our Zen Tangling art lesson. And there's no right or wrong way to do it. It should be relaxing and meditative. So let your creativity flow and see what happens. So the first thing you're going to do is trace your hand on the paper. I know one of my examples had more than one um, hand with some henna heart on it, but I would recommend starting with the one hand in case you get tired. You can always add more later on. Uh, you're going to just go straight with your sharpie and make sure you spread your fingers apart a good amount that way um, you can fit your pen in there trace your hand and then let your pen just run straight off the paper now it's time for the fun part it's time to design your henna hands namaste Oh mm -hmm.